What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and we've been talking iPad OS 16 for the past few weeks or so, and now we're finally at beta 4, and I think you are going to finally start to enjoy some of the features that we have been seeing because one of the biggest things that we talked about is the ability to take one app from one screen all the way over to the next screen and work in fluidity and that hasn't been working but today we got beta 4 so let's see if it works now <laughs> So of course we do have gaming working now, kind of, sort of. You don't have the black bars on the screen, but you do see the game on the screen right here and no black bars, but we do have a kind of semblance of a full screen game. We're waiting to see if we're gonna get actual full screen gaming though. Like this isn't full screen, we want a whole screen. But one of the other things we actually wanted to kind of cover was the ability to drag and drop your applications. So what Apple actually told us is that we will be able to take one application from the iPad, which is over here, all the way over to this screen, which is over here. Now, what I'm gonna do is we do have a game open and just going, but I'm gonna take it to this desktop mode that we see right here. So from this point, I'm gonna just take an application like files. Let's open up files. And what I wanna do is basically just make it a little smaller actually. So I'm gonna make that smaller and then I wanna take it and I want to just drag it over through the screen. So that is still not doing its thing. Well, let's see, one more time. Okay, it, it's still stopping. So we can actually move this to the display by clicking this button and it pops up on the display. And once again, if I wanna move it over here, it's still not going. Let's see if we can just take an application though and open it up over here. So quickly, oh, it didn't do anything. Um, it just made them wiggle on this side. Let's try another one. Um, we're just gonna take the App Store. Okay, so it opened. Now we, do, we did get it to actually drag over and open. So I'm a little excited about that. And we were supposed to be able to open up multiple windows. So we got two open now. We know that it always froze up at the two um, application marker. So let's try three applications. Let's open up another window. So it's still not available yet. So it's still giving us that, um, let's, let's get that once again. We get that notification that still not available yet. So we would have to drag an application up to open it. And let's see if we can take this application. Nope, doesn't come over here. So we still can't just fluidly, like with fluidness, just drag and drop, drag and drop. But we did get the application to open over here. Let's see, we got Best Buy, didn't open. Um, Apple TV, didn't open. Um, Luma Fusion, didn't open. Gmail, didn't open. Let's stop them from wiggling and let's try files again, didn't open. So I'm still trying to do it really quickly, but it's still not 100%. So we're getting there. We did get one of them to open, which was the App Store. We got it to open up as we drug it over, but um, nothing else would actually do it. Now I'm really interested in, let's just open up this over here and I'm going to decrease the size of this display and I'm gonna try one more time, dragging the whole, nope, still not going. Now, you know we can have four applications running on each device, we still can do that, but the ability to be able to drag from one to the other in stage manager, desktop to the iPad and then iPad back to the desktop display, it's just not working right now. So we're just gonna keep an eye on that and hopefully it will be ready sometime in the near future. Uh, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. We got gaming working, kind of, sort of. We got um, some applications will drag over and work. So we did see that and 
we still have the ability to have multiple applications open. So I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed and we are highly optimistic that they will get this working and they will get this figured out. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. We got more videos coming on this subject. We're gonna be breaking this thing down, opening it up and just making sure all this stuff that Apple promised us will be working. Until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.